Good evening from Tom Bradley International Terminal at LAX, and welcome to tonight's special trip report. It's the first time in almost three years since I took an international trip, and with the U.S. eliminating the COVID testing requirement for all those entering the country, tonight's trip means I'm going to Colombia. Thankfully, my Star Alliance Gold status with Asiano is extended to December 2022. So we'll see how Copa Airlines handles all of this for tonight's trip to Panama City. Hopefully all of my documents for Colombia are in order as I check in. Alright, so I'm now all checked in to my flight. I'll be on uh, Copa 362 down to Panama City. It'll be boarding around 9 o'clock tonight. Uh, so I have a couple of hours to kill. I'm going to be heading out to the Star Alliance Lounge uh, to hang out up there. Um, other than that, the check-in was fairly straightforward. I was able to obviously use the uh, Star Alliance Gold uh, business class check-in. Um, the person checking me in commented how organized I was. I usually don't get a compliment like that, but uh, I had my passport obviously ready along with my uh, COVID uh, vaccination record. Um, I have all my shots, so I'm okay. And then uh, also my immigration form that uh, you're required to fill out before you board the plane out to Colombia. So all that is good to go and uh, I'll be good to go here pretty soon. I'm heading up to the Star Alliance lounge tonight before my flight. It's really nice to see more life in here than when I was last here in 2021. One weird thing that did happen at the check-in at the lounge was that initially the scanner didn't pick up my status with Asiana. I was ready to show my mobile card if I had to, but luckily it did pick it up, and I was admitted. Here's some salad along with some rice and cheese and a Nature Valley bar. I know that's a weird combination. I'm eating all this while watching the US Open. The soup station had some French onion as a broth which I put over the rice and noodles, which is again a weird combination. Also had a latte overlooking the terminal. The lounge wasn't too busy when I entered. However, there are a lot of flights heading out to Asia and the South Pacific, so it got much busier as the evening progressed. The food was a bit of a disappointment tonight, as there wasn't anything really that filling. The soup station was also a bit disappointing as they ran out of chicken broth and the toppings were not refilled quickly enough, so I ended up with some interesting combinations for my soup. Other than the food and the quirky entrance for me, it was still pretty nice and relaxing to be in the Star Alliance lounge. So anyway, I'm heading down towards gate 132 for tonight's flight. Tonight for my 6 hour flight to Panama, I'm flying this 4 year old Copa Airlines Boeing 737 MAX 9. It's registered Hotel Papa 9903 Charlie Mike Papa in standard Copa livery. Boarding will begin around 9pm, an hour before the scheduled departure at 10.07pm. I don't understand how it'll take an hour to board a small plane like the MAX when, say, Asiana was able to board an Airbus A380 in about 45 minutes. So one thing I was confused by was my boarding group, 6. There's no mention of Star Alliance Gold on the boarding pass, and it's not very clear when or where the Star Alliance Gold members would board. In any event, I'm excited to be heading abroad for the first time since the COVID pandemic. It feels a little weird right now, but I think that's mainly due to just the uncertainty of life we've all just experienced. It's time to start seeing the world in person again if possible, and now is the time. I will admit, the Max has a beautiful economy cabin, and I really like the Boeing Sky interior and these blue seats. The plane has 150 economy class seats in a 3-3 configuration. Note that there are 24 in economy extra up front, in economy plus on United for comparison. The seats were designed by BE Aerospace. The main cabin seats have between 30 to 31 inches of pitch, 17 inches of seat width, and 4 degrees of recline. Thankfully for tonight's flight, no one seated in the middle seat. There is no seat back entertainment. However, Wi-Fi is available, and you can also stream from Copa's ShowPass app on your device. There is a USB port to keep your device charged, but there are no power outlets. Copa Airlines is all in many 
Avenida a bordo de su vuelo 362 con destino a la ciudad de Panamá y nuestro centro de conexiones. Le solicitamos ubicar el equipaje de mano dentro de los compartimentos superiores y su artículo personal de menor tamaño debajo de la cinta. And there's my view for the next six hours. And yes, it is raining. September in LA. This just adds to the uniqueness of the trip. Yes, for personal air vents. By the way, masks are optional for international flights on Copa. I wore my mask during boarding, but eventually took it off. Here's our tray table. It seems pretty sturdy to me. And you can also bring it closer to you. Hope Ireland welcome you on board flight 362 to the city of Panama and our hub. We ask you to place the carry-on luggage inside the overhead compartments and your personal item under the seat in front of you. We're mostly boarded within 30 minutes, but we are waiting for any connected passengers, which are quite a few. I guess this is why boarding takes so long on Copa. Welcome to you for your flight 362 to Panama City in our hub. We ask you to place the carrier luggage inside the overhead compartment of your small personal item under the seat in front of you. There's our safety card, which is in both English and Spanish. You can hear the engine starting up now. And although I'm sitting next to the wing, I didn't find it too noisy, nor did I feel a lot of vibration. So we're all boarded in, just about to depart. Again, the boarding process seems very long and drawn out, so be prepared if you board early to wait a little while. By the way, there are no amenity kits for regular economy. No pillow, no blankets or toiletries. Nothing. So just be prepared for that. So that nervousness that I had leading up to tonight's trip has turned to excitement. This trip's really on! Due to tonight's unusual storm, another unique piece of this trip is really coming up. For the very first time, I'm taking off from 7L, and we're also taking off from the west to the east. This is going to be a very unique takeoff configuration as I've never taken off in this direction from LAX. So we're just about ready to take off. Do enjoy the sounds of the CFM International Leap 1B engines.
it is. About 30 minutes into the flight, meal service and dinner will start. There are two choices tonight, chicken pasta or chili. I prefer the chili. The meal came with something like coleslaw and this piece of cake. Here it is, my chili and cornbread. The portion size looks a little small, and the cornbread is definitely bigger than the chili. I also went with a cup of water and some pineapple orange juice. It's pretty decent. I found the chili to be very tasty. It has some nice flavor and spice and was not most of the beans. I wish there was more of that and less of the cornbread, which I found dry. Some butter would have helped. One thing I forgot to show you earlier was the holder for your personal device, should you want to stream off of it. Service finished about 45 minutes later, and I found the pace of service to be good. With about four and a half hours left, I'm going to try to sleep. After a couple of hours of sleep, I woke up to this beautiful sunrise over Central America. The flight attendants also came by with some water. This sunrise was not only beautiful, but special. It's special just to see a beautiful sunset rise in a different part of the world. I'm going to shut up and let you enjoy the sunrise. I hope I captured this beautiful start to the day well. check-in to be smooth. It helped that I had all of my necessary documents and visas, so make sure you have all those ready. I found it odd the boarding pass I received showed no mention of my Starline status. The lounge itself was a bit disappointing due to the spread of the food, but it was still comfortable. Boarding was a bit confusing as there was no real communication of what Starline's code could board. I ended up boarding in group 6. The boarding process was really long as it seemed like just as I thought we had completed it, a few more people came on board. The seat and cabin were comfortable, temperature-wise, which was good since there were no blankets given. It helped no one sat in the middle seat, so it felt spacious. The food portion on board was small, although tasty. There was no snack or breakfast served, and there was no special meal available, so be prepared. There were a few rounds of beverages. The crew seemed a bit distant, as the meal service was the only time that we really interacted with them. I flew Copa because most of the fares will credit 100% of the miles to Asiana, which helps me to keep my status. So with all that, welcome to Panama City.
My next flight to Bogota boards in 40 minutes, and I have to walk from Terminal 2 to Terminal 1, which will take about 15 minutes. So check out my next trip report for that flight. See you next time! Thank you.